When I think about the most powerful mechanics in PoE, I think about things like alternate ailments like Brittle, Corpse Scaling, Nightblade Support, Aura Stacking, Attribute Stacking. But I think one that's often forgotten is the power of Increased Duration. I'm not talking about Increased Duration generically, I'm talking about specifically as it pertains to impacting DPS. So something like Toxic Crane, Seismic Trap, Lightning Spire Trap. And for this build, Stormburst. Any skill that has its DPS increased by duration does so multiplicatively usually. And in the case of Stormburst, duration almost doubles your damage once you invest into it. Combine this with the fact that Stormburst is a conversion skill, and suddenly I'm really surprised as to why this skill doesn't get more play. Of course, it has the problem of not being the most smooth skill to clear with and smooth skill to use, and that's why I also pair it with a Penance Brand. So Penance Brand in my setup not only gives me additional damage and boosts my ult's ailments, but it also really helps out with clear because of the Holy Conquest Notable now being available on Masteries. It lets your brands jump between monsters as long as they're able to, and turns Penance Brand into a skill that's really sticky into a really fast jumping brand skill that hits enemies all the time. Penance Brand in my setup also serves another purpose of giving me a really, really gigantic max hit. Now my Penance Brand only activates once every 4 or 5 seconds on bosses, but when that does happen, it applies a maximum ailment hit. In other words, I get 15% base critical strike chance from Brittle and 30% maximum sap from my Penance Brand as well. This is because ailments are scaled not by your total DPS, but by the maximum hit dealt. Stormburst has really great DPS, but has a lot of really small hits. Because of this, the actual ailment effect that you're applying is much lower. Penance Brand, on the other hand, when you're on single target, has a really, really big max hit. Because I scale duration, I don't need to worry so much about cast speed. And the end result is a max ailment hit from Penance Brand and then my gigantic DPS from Stormburst. Now I'm actually leveraging the base 15 critical strike chance from Brittle by pairing it with Marilyn's Fallacy, which gives you a metric ton of multiplier, but also reduces your critical strike chance by 40%. This doesn't matter though, because as an Inquisitor with alt ailments, you have so much crit overcap that you're actually able to still be crit capped while using Marilyn's Fallacy. Beyond this, I'm also using some other really powerful mechanics, like Trinity from Partial Conversion, Hatred because of the conversion as well, Melding of the Flesh, Max Res, and Righteous Fire paired with Inquisitor Regen, and finally Life Gain on Spell Hit, which is an overlooked but really great recovery mechanic for certain skills. Stormburst is definitely one of those skills, and it basically gives me instant leech on top of the Inquisitor Regen I already have. I'm not going to spend that much time in the POV, the only things I really want to go over are one, this alternating scepter, which lets me apply alternate ailments without the interrogation jewel or leadership's price. Two, Legacy of Fury, which really helps out to supplement your clear, and also applies my Scorch. I don't have any other source of physical to fire conversion, so I use this to apply Scorch. Marilyn's Fallacy, which has a Charisma Anoint, which is quite expensive, but lets you fit in all your auras without losing anything when you want to run Melding. And this very specific ring, which gives me life gain on spell hit. This really helps out with my recovery, and especially when you're running Righteous Fire, this makes a big difference for your survivability on single target. I'm able to round out the conversion on the skill through my gloves. And finally, one interesting thing to note is that my Stormburst is actually in my helmet rather than in my chest. Now, I never finished crafting this helmet in SF Hardcore, but basically the core of it is you get a Shaper Helmet, Use an Essence of Horror or an Essence of Insanity on it, and then you craft on Cold Resistance on the suffix. You have a third empty suffix, and then you lock your suffixes with a suffix cannot be changed benchcraft, and then do a reforged cold, and that will guarantee hypothermia as a final hit. The way I finish this helmet off is by locking suffixes once again, and then using Veiled Chaos or Ashling to hit plus two AoE gems, and then crafting on max life. That's pretty much the core of the build explained. Other than that, I'm getting a ton of duration on the tree, and then it should look fairly similar to a generic melding Inquisitor self-cast crit setup. So a Sparker would have a relatively similar tree, except instead of having to invest into things like projectile speed, into pierce, into additional sockets to fit in Tornado, I get to use Stormburst's inherent insane base damage, insane multiplier with duration, and then abuse physical to elemental conversion to get a really, really strong skill output.